What's up, everybody? I am Ghost Boy Colby, and uh, let me just say something real quick. Uh, the Skyrim episode that I recorded and uploaded, it would have been yesterday, but it took much longer than I expected. Um, not only was the episode longer than I wanted it to be, but it took longer to upload. And so, yeah, uh, if that's... If... If... You notice that I'm trying to limit the length of my videos, that's why. Because the longer they are, the much longer it takes to upload them. And I want to get them out as quickly as possible after they're made. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. in the world why are there so many uh oh okay um let's see right now we're on our way to uh get a plot or get something that we need to be able to get rid of the debris that is blocking our path so that we can get to Steinman. We need his genetic code key or whatever it is to be able to get into, I think it's another bathysphere, so that we can go where Atlas wants us to go. Uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now. I think. Okay. And if anyone wants me to edit out these hacking scenes, I don't necessarily see it as necessary. Um, but if you want me to, then I might. I don't know. I, editing is... Let's see. It, it adds more time that you need to wait before you get to see the episodes. Uh, because the way that I have to edit is very like roundabout that's the best way I know how to describe it um, I can't just take a certain chunk of an episode and take it out as simple as that I wish but that's not how it works I have to split the videos like I did with Skyrim one where I cut out the part of me eating pizza I had to split the beginning and the end like around the part where I'm eating the pizza and then put them back together merge them back together and so each time like where I split the beginning and split the end it took time for each of those to save as their own individual videos and then when I merged them back together it took I don't know probably half an hour at least for that to merge back into one single video so I'll have to do the same kind of thing here if you want me to just edit out like the one, one and a half minutes that I am spend hacking these machines. So just let me know if that's what you want me to do, I'll do it. But just keep in mind that it'll make you wait longer before you actually get to see the episodes. Uh, let's see. I think something's wrong with the audio, but I don't know how to fix it. And it's not that bad, so I think I'll worry about it later. You got special ammo. Uh, I believe that's the armor piercing stuff. My turret is a little damaged, I guess. Let's see, looks like I'm going this way. I'm probably gonna need to use, wait, where, where am I going? Oh, this way. Down here? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell which way the arrow was pointing me. See, sometimes it's hard to tell if it wants you to go this way or down the stairs. I don't know. It, maybe that's just me. Simon, I know Medical Pavilion is your man. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. 
then she leaves. Now, oh. I realize you're a posh story, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Ooh, those automatic hack tools are really, uh, handy. Very, I wouldn't say valuable, because that would imply that they would have a va high value if you were to sell them. You can't sell anything in this game, so. I don't think valuable is necessarily the right word, but they're very useful. Uh, because, see, I'm not going to use it here, but if this was one of those hacks where the difficulty was much higher, like towards the red, You'd want to use an auto hot hack tool, that way you don't risk failing, setting off an alarm or whatever. Um, and I realized that uh, I was talking about the little uh, pipes that cause a big explosion if you let the liquid flow into them. And we had already seen those. <laughs> Um, I said something like, we're not at that point yet, but we actually had already seen those little uh, pipes in particular but uh, I guess I just forgot I don't know I guess it just slipped my mind uh, they're the little ones that you know they have like a little explosion as an image inside of them or whatever I'd, I'm probably explaining terribly but they're the ones that basically look like if you let something flow into them they're gonna blow up who to thunk it That's another hack done. Um, I also am thinking about keeping the parts where I hack just because I use them to talk whenever I don't necessarily have time to talk during like a fight or something. But uh, I don't know, it's up to y'all. Oh. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Wasted a bullet. Oh well. Um. Oh, this part's. Hmm. Gotta keep my mouth shut, but. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna look around a bit first before I pick up this shotgun. I'm not really sure why the audio is giving me trouble this time. I don't really think there's any way I can fix it. At least not while I'm making the video. There we go. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure I really see anything else. Okay, Vita Chamber. Guess there's nothing left to do but stop stalling and pick up the shotgun. Who was that? Oh. Be gone! What the hell? This video is giving me trouble, I'm sorry. If I look over at my TV screen, it's because uh, the stream on my laptop keeps hanging up every now and then both audio wise and uh, video wise and it makes it really hard to do fights like that for example I don't know if it's even gonna show up in the video I my guess is it probably will I'm thinking it's gonna let's see now I can pick up that first aid kit 
Uh, did I re- Oh, I didn't even see that body. Okay, I think we're good. You could- I'm- I'm assuming you could go through the game without picking up the shotgun, because I can't think of any story-related part that needs the shotgun, but I can't imagine why you'd want to do that, because the shotgun is good. I don't know. I, I think I have an idea of what's wrong, but I think I'm just gonna wait and sort it out in the like after I'm done with this episode. Sorry. <laughs> I was focusing on the safe hack because those are actually some of the most difficult ones. Even the ones that aren't that high of difficulty in terms of like the actual meter that goes from green to red with the little needle, you know, that pops up before you even do the hack. Like even the ones that aren't that high of difficulty on the meter are still pretty hard to do. Where's that coming from? Wait, did I already go over here? Yeah, I did. It's hard to tell. Sometimes I get turned around. Okay, so... We're gonna want Electro Bolt. I know that. Uh, hold left trigger to grab objects, release left trigger to throw them, or press X to drop. Hold left trigger to catch grenades or tennis balls. Like this. Oh. Yeah, that's the power of telekinesis. Sometimes you can lift up, uh, find and lift up these uh, gas tanks, like oxygen or propane or something. I don't know. I don't know what's in them. But, uh, and then you can throw them at the enemies and they'll blow up. So you basically have a bomb. Uh, but you don't have to pick up those tanks in particular. I mean, you can pick up just about anything except for, let's see, hold on. What in the world? Yeah, it's really useful against these guys because they throw grenades at you and you can huck them back. Just like that. But then... Yeah, most of the time after they die, they drop a grenade, so you want to step back. Don't uh, go rush in to pick up their loot right after you kill them, because otherwise you're going to get blown up by the grenade they just dropped. So you just want to give it a second, let it blow up, and then raid their body for the loot. And now that we have telekinesis, Yeah, we can do that. Since uh, Dr. Steinman is in theory a nitro splicer, uh, he throws gren well, at least up there he throws grenades. We can send him back his way, or well, actually if we do that, it's not gonna kill him. So what we need to do is clear the path of the debris and then we can go have a little battle with him. 
You'd think that we'd be able to kill him, but we can't do that. At least not that way. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted that. I wanted that security bot. Uh-oh. See, I don't know if I should use the auto hack this early on, but this turret would be pretty handy. I'm going to use it. I just don't want to risk it. Especially considering there's a puddle of oil right here and those will catch on fires. I don't know Let's see static discharge. Okay, so this makes it to where whenever we get hit in battle with a melee attack we give off uh, Electro bolt basically we shock whoever just hit us So that's that's what that does But yeah, I don't know if the explosion or whatever would have caught the oil on fire from me failing the from me failing the hack but i didn't want to risk it uh oh see that's the one i've been talking about where uh oh there's more of them okay so yeah i can't let the blue liquid the light blue greenish liquid flow into those otherwise i'm gonna get blown sky high and i don't want to get blown sky high i mean i know i have uh first aid kit so I could heal myself if it did happen but I just don't want it to happen there we go and then this one oh no oh no see these suck even the ones that get down Get down! Sorry, I had to yell at my cat. Because he was up somewhere where he wasn't supposed to be. But uh, even the ones that aren't like all the way towards the red are still extremely hard. Just because there aren't that many tiles. Come on. Okay, there we go. See, they're basically randomly generated, so it's up to luck. Uh, because sometimes you literally just get an impossible hack. Um, let's see, I think I'm only going to have time for the upcoming battle. And then I'm going to stop the episode. So basically, this dude has an obsession with beauty, and uh, I think he's like grown to hate working on his patients or something because they never turn out right, just because of how obsessive he is about it. And the basically the gist of it is he's just batshit. <laughs> the dude's insane. So yeah. And uh, since there aren't really any regulations regarding what he can do as far as surgery goes in Rapture, he's basically given free reign to do whatever he wants to his victims. I'd say patience, but 
Uh, he's gonna be right through here. Well, let me. Okay, there's nothing in those, anyways. What can I do with this one, Aphrodite? She won't stay. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That was too fat. This one too tall. This one too symmetrical. And now, what's this guy? An intruder. He's ugly. I guess maybe his thing is that he wants to replicate this goddess that he sees. Maybe that's it. Like he wants them to look like her, but they never do. Well, dang, it's never been that easy. I mean, I've killed him pretty quick before, but that was the quickest ever. I didn't know all it took was just throwing one of those at him. Huh. That would have been useful years ago. Well, I think there actually is some stuff to get uh, just looking around for loot here, so I might go ahead and do that. I don't really need to hack this, but I can. Uh, but yeah. I did not expect that battle to be so quick. Although, that is good for me because it means the episode will be a little shorter. And every second counts pretty much. Especially if I want to be able to upload this before midnight. Unlike the episode of Skyrim. I know I keep talking about that, but it, it was fun. You know, it was fun to make, but oof, it was too long. So, the next episode... Sorry, it's not going to be that long. You know, maybe if the Wi-Fi was a little faster here, but I'm not in control of that. So, you know, it's just... Gotta work with what I got. And I could sit and complain about it, or I could actually figure something out. And I choose to figure something out. Because sure, it's fine to be upset in the moment, but if you're not going to do anything about it, then all being upset about it does is just waste time. That's what I think. I did want that security bot, though. Uh, the dude... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There was a dude who had, like, red signals pulsing from his head. And what that meant was that he was connected to the security bot that was flying around him. It was, you know, his little buddy. And in theory, uh, these splicers that are coming after me might see the same thing if I have my own turret. Or security bot. Except it would be green instead of red. I don't know. Oh, that's not Dr. Steinman. This whole time I thought it was. Yeah. That's what you get. See, yeah, like I said, you gotta back up whenever those... Whenever those guys die because they have a grenade ready all the time. What in the world? Sounds like another tunnel collapse. Welcome to Rapture, the world's fastest growing toilet joke. God damn it. <laughs> Iran, leave us alone. See, I don't know why the arrow says to go that way. Because that's not where you go. Oh my. Here's your chance to get out of. Well, yeah, but I want to loot this guy. What? What the? Won't let me loot him. Oh well. Okay, here we go. I am in. Sorry. I have something to say after the cutscene. 
Then, okay, I have a couple things to say. One, we're never given a canon name as to what the plasmid she just tossed us is, and it doesn't show up in our plasmid wheel. So basically, it's just a sort of plot hole patch to explain why we in particular can rescue the little sisters. But the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, I was installing Rainbow Six Siege, but I had to pause it, pause the installation, so that might have been part of what was causing the streaming issues, uh, or has been causing them, but uh, once it does install, uh, you should expect within the next couple days an episode of Rainbow Six Siege with my cousin Caleb. Uh, he streams on Xbox, but uh, that's the last I'll say about it for the episode, so just be ready for that. Uh, we can choose to rescue the little sister or harvest her and then as it says if we harvest her we get a lot of Adam but we kill her in the process and if we rescue her we get less Adam but Tenenbaum will give us little or have the girls little sisters that we rescue come out and give us little gift baskets as a present to show our to show her appreciation now I'm pretty sure in the long run they end up equaling the same amount of Adam. Yes, you get more Adam up front if you harvest them, but those gift baskets come with a certain amount of Adam. So I think it's about equal. You might get a little bit more in the long run doing the harvest route, but. I don't normally like to do that just because, you know, it's pretty horrific. Like, you have to no. kind of be a no. dickhead to do no. that. No. I don't know, maybe maybe some people just like to play that way. I don't, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. don't want enrage I don't really want Eve link either but I do want armored shell just because it it basically increases your defense uh, to put it simply let's see I could have gotten health upgrade but that would have been the only thing I would have been able to get I can get Eve Link, but I'm not necessarily interested in that. As it says, all it all it does is that it makes it so that whenever you use first aid kits, you also get a little bit of Eve. I guess that's kind of handy because I do use the plasmids quite a bit, but I don't know. It's just I don't like having to replace plasmids or tonics, but oh well. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it and uh, 
I think I'm actually gonna end the episode right here. Uh, I know there have been some video and audio issues. I, I'll try to figure out what the problem is and get it sorted out before I make the next episode of whatever it is I play. But uh, yeah, uh, until then, I'm gonna say, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if, if there's anything I forgot to mention. I don't think so. Uh, until, until the next episode. Peace.